Fucking Moses, and this is my review on these bad boys, these sexy motherfuckers. Oh, now if you're from Chicago, or you were born in Chicago, or raised in Chicago just a little bit, you know the significance of chips in a real nigga's life. And because I'm a real nigga, I don't eat candy, nigga. I don't eat sweets, ice cream, nothing like that. Flamin' Hots is an important part of a young black man's diet that resides from a, a small city right outside of Gary named Chicago. Maybe even more important than Doritos. Back in the day, it was a, it was a woman that we called the Candy Lady. Now, my family's from 107th and Calumet. Shout out to Roseland, nigga. And... We would go down to 103rd. Wait, no, the opposite direction. Wait, you walk down, what the fuck street was that? Forest. Yeah. And we would get these mother, not these, flaming Hots and Doritos and mix them in one bag. And she would put ground beef and cheese on that motherfucker for an extra $2. Anyways, hood ass stories, not very important, not that part anyway. What we're gonna do is, Aaron Moses did not smoke any reefer today, like I said I was gonna do, and then try these motherfuckers. First of all, I like the bag. I think it's, it's beautiful, it's cute. Yeah, it's cute. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try these motherfuckers. And then, you know what? I'm going to say that. For, I'm going to surprise you. So what we're going to do, I'm going to open this bag right here. I'm going to make it do what it does. You ready? First of all, I'm a professional reviewer. I was employed by Tragon to review alcohol. They paid me, they paid a real nigga to taste test alcohol and to see how fucked up I would get. In 30 minutes. That used to be my job. So, my opinion means everything, if that's what you're asking yourself. First of all, let's we open the bag. Mmm, that smells delicious. The smell, one out of ten, I give it an eight. A clean eight. I'm kind of scared, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because that's what real niggas do. We the bank TV. They smell like barbecue Fritos, but I like them hoes. You ready? You ready for this? They're exceptional. I very much so enjoy these. Now, if you're a real nigga and you eat a lot of flaming hots, <clears throat> you know you're not gonna get the flaming hotness from one chip. Unless you're white. And white people don't eat a lot of spicy foods if they're from America.
They taste funny. They taste weird. They taste kind of funny-y. Let me read these ingredients. Uh, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Vegetable oil. Bullshit, canola oil. Bullshit. Oh, up. Oh. Flaming hot Chipotle ranch seasoning. Made of salt. White man salt. Uh, skim cow puss. Hmm. Maltodextrin. Spi oh, spices. Fuck is a spice, nigga? Tell me what spice. Yellow dye number six. Yellow dye number five. Makes your dick little for 30 minutes. So don't drink uh, Mountain Dew. Cheddar cheese. Dextrose. Sunflower oil. Maybe there's a lot of oil in this motherfucker. So basically, this is spices, oil, cheese, and milk. Anyways, how does this shit taste? It tastes good. They taste... See, my advice to you, you gotta eat these bitches slow. You gotta caress these motherfuckers. You can't eat too many at one time. But a nigga's kinda hungry, so... I'm gonna say these bitches for later. You can definitely taste the ranch. No, I'm a real nigga, so I don't really know what the fuck Chipotle is. Or what it tastes like. It tastes... It tastes... It tastes like they just put some onions and garlic on some Flame of Hots. With some ranch. It tastes like... Uh, buffalo wings, but not so much. It tastes like um, red hot, hot sauce, the buffalo wing sauce. With ranch, garlic, onions, and oregano. Something like that. Hold on, let me, let me smell them again. And of course these bitch ass niggas didn't put the ingredients on this motherfucker because they ain't no real niggas. And that's the problem with the world. Nigga just said, it just says spices, nigga. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait till I get my DSLR. Oh, you can't see that. You can't see that. Because this bunk ass phone. But it just says, it simply says spices. Now, if you're going to get fucked up, wasted, and have Mexicans over your house, boop! Get these. Get these. Compare, okay, so one out of ten, what do I give normal, real nigga flaming Hots? I give normal real nigga flaming hots about a about a one out of ten. I give them about a an eight. Ooh, that was good. Bite the bite this shit in half, and you gotta eat these bitches slow. You gotta eat these bitches slow. Give them about a one out of ten. Okay. Not a 1 out of 10. Out of a 1 out of 10, I get these about a... I give them a good 8. Do they taste better than normal Flamin' Hots? Fuck no. Because I'm a real nigga, and I would never say that. Think I'm going to disrespect my roots? Fuck you talking about. Now, the real test. <laughs> Bling! What do we got? Bud Light. The real nigga 16-ounce can. Camouflage down. The No Limit Soldiers can. What you know about that, Ward? So what we're gonna do is gonna put these bitches to the real nigga test. Now, my favorite beer is Miller High Life. And if you're not a real nigga, you simply just don't understand that. Budweiser is close. Budweiser is Miller High Life's cousin that's funnier than Miller High Life, but tries too hard. It's acceptable, but in small amounts. I like to taste the beer. Aaron Moses likes to taste the beer. 
Huh? Let me get another one. What's up, second viewer? We're gonna put these motherfuckers to the real test. Yes! Yes! These taste much better with beer than Flamin' Hots. Aaron Moses does not mix Flamin' Hots and beer. Flamin' Hots is for marijuana because it makes your tongue all tingly and it feels like a little, it feels like a dance with, <coughs> ooh, excuse me. It feels like a dance between Isis and, 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 and Dionysus on your tongue. Dionysus is actually the god of of wine. The Greek or Roman god of wine. I don't know. Nigga, I ain't white. But that's what it that's what it feels like. But these oh Jesus. Jesus the baby. The baby Jesus is real. Oh god damn. I'm not on drugs right now. I'll assure you that. I should be, because my son's been crying all day. He's teething. But, those in beer, just like they taught me in Tai Chi, you take the soft, you take the hard, make them both. This is the soft and the hard. This is heroin. That's crack. Wait, switch them. But you know what I mean. Soft, hard. That good shit. Does Aaron Moven approve? Aaron Moses does approve. After beer, those boosted that up to about the same level as Flaming Hots. One of the many things that I don't like about Flaming Hots is that you cannot drink them with beer and little kids, such as my son, finger paint all over your shit and they get all geeked up because they say Flaming Hots has the same ingredients as some shit you put in cocaine. I don't know, but I believe it slightly because that's some shit America would do. Anyways, would I recommend them? I totally would. What would I change about them? Less onions, nigga. What the fuck are you trying to do? More ranch, less onions. They taste like flaming Hots, Doritos, and Funyuns put together. But I like Doritos, and I like Funyuns, a little bit. Uh, I taste the Chipotle pepper, and I like it. I would say put a little bit more of the flaming Hotness in it. You know what I mean? I can't really describe it. But there's no aftertaste. It tastes the same. I like that. I don't like aftertastes. And it mixed beautifully with beer. That, that was art. I'm doing that again. I'm doing that again. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Hold on. Hold up. I bet you these motherfuckers won't make a fucking uh, $5 family size bag of these bitches. Fuck up the whole economy, goddammit. No more vegetables for me, nigga. And I'm a vegetarian. I'm surviving off of these motherfuckers. They got spices in it, nigga. Spices are vegetables, nigga. Mm. Somebody tell Famous Dex to review these. Somebody tell Famous Dex to get high off weed, not cocaine. Famous Dex. We like the Famous Dex, not on cocaine. But if it works for you, it works for us. That that shit's beautiful, bro. That shit is almost as beautiful as my son when he calls me Dada. Ah. Damn, that shit's good, bro. That shit's good. So would I recommend them? Uh, if you're a real nigga, I would recommend them. If you're not, you might get caught up in life. 
So, no, I wouldn't recommend them to a, a fake-ass, snitch-ass nigga. But to a real nigga, it's a go. Push that button. They're delicious. They're delicious, to say the least. They, they, they make me think about flowers. They make me think logically in an illogical way. And it doesn't make sense because it's not supposed to. Because it's art, baby. It's art, baby. Did this nigga just make a 15-minute review on some goddamn chips? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Because I live in the country and it's not a goddamn thing to do. And I miss that letter. I miss my home. I even miss Chicago. And I don't even like Chicago that much. Because it's complicated. And it's a lot of people. And everybody's racist except for me. Everybody's racist in Chicago except for me, my niggas, and their niggas. And, and Puerto Ricans with tattoos on their face that went to prison, but they're reformed now. They're not racist. Anyway, we're going way off subject. But, Flamin' Hot's Chipotle Ranch Crunchy coming to a city near you. And you know what? Liz is the realest nigga that I know because she bought these for me. She owed me $2, but she bought these. And she knew that I would approve. God damn it. She better get her motherfucking white cracker ass home. Before a real nigga eats all of these. They smell like Funyuns, my nigga. No lie. They don't even smell like Blamin' Hot. But my breath doesn't smell like Flamin' Hot either. You know when you talk to somebody and they just ate some Flamin' Hot? Fuck. Anyways, nigga, I'm about to spend like $20 on these. I don't even eat junk food like that. I think she got these from her job. My baby just made the general manager of Love's Subway. She's actually, there's two general managers at her job. Her and then the general manager of Love's. So she's the general general manager of the Subway. But they're connected. They're in one building. Anyways, nigga, enough about me. Let me read these comments. Bro, you check into every live stream that I've ever fucking done in my fucking adult life. I'll have what he's having. Ha! Enjoy Flame of House without being high, without some kind of libation is fucking blasphemy. I don't know what that means. I'm drinking a 24 ounce of some natty, some new shit. A twenty? What, what's natty? I've seen on the shelves 8.9% alcohol. I don't know what it is. Can't trust no nigga who don't like onions. No, Funyuns, bro. Not onions. Funyuns. I'm fucking... My people are from Spain, nigga. We put fucking onions and green peppers and goddamn everything and rice. Also, can't trust no Puerto Rican with more than three face tattoos. That nigga is mostly retired cartel hit, man. Hey, man. If the nigga has kids and one DUI... uh, His mom loves him. Still, and he doesn't have a whole bunch of brothers, he's trustworthy. But, you know, God damn, that's what happens. Oh, congratulations on your old lady in that room. I gotta tell everybody this is like, besides having a black baby, this is probably the fourth biggest accomplishment in her life, and I'm really proud of her. So, my battery is on 4% or some shit. And I got to go help with the groceries pretty soon. Actually, I'm, I, don't, I don't help with the groceries. I bring 50 bags in at one time. Because that's simply what real niggas do. And it's about to be that time. When she texts me that she's outside. I don't know why she texts me that she's outside instead of honking. We're going to have to discuss that. But anyways, man. Flame of Hots, Chipotle, Crunchy Ranch. It's a total go-to. Definitely drinking chips. Drinking chips. The only chips I eat when I drink is Fritos, barbecue Fritos, barbecue Fritos mixed with Fritos. Uh, I don't really fuck with the Doritos. I, I really like to stray away from cheese when I'm drinking. I don't know why. I think my, my soul just knows that's not a good idea. Um, what other kind of chips do I eat when I drink? Ooh, Lay's. Classic Lay's. 
uh, salt and vinegar lays. Ooh, salt and vinegar lays. You know the fucking, the most disgusting goddamn shit I had? Motherfucking Lay's has a chip called dill pickle and sea salt. <laughs> don't taste, don't, no, don't buy that shit. That shit tastes like, that shit tastes like a salt lick. I never licked the salt lick. I think I did because I, I had a guinea pig when I was younger. But it just, it doesn't taste right. It's too much salt, and it's too much vinegar, and it's not enough fucking dill pickle. And I don't like dill pickle flavor shit. Who the fuck? Dill pickle flavor shit is for women on their period and pregnant bitches who like ice cream. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, what do you want to see my live stream be? Natty is cheap bum beer. Tastes good, though. Natty, uh, do they have Genesee where you live? That shit will get you sh smoked, bro. That shit will get you smoked. Uh, but you said it's 8.9%. Bro, you might as well, you might as well drink a Four Loco. And I don't, I don't recommend Four Locos to anybody. But Four Loco is like drinking beer and smoking some inspirational ass weed. So, cause the last, the first time I drank Four Loco when I was, no, 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 I'm not gonna lie. The first time that I drank Four Loco in the past Three months, which was the first time I drank for local in like six months. I, I wrote like fucking three songs. I wrote four songs and I recorded three of them that same day. And they were fired. Oh, I think it's about that time. Swag. Nah. Um, If you want to drink cheap, which I should probably make a video on that, but fuck it. We're already in the zone. If you want to drink cheap, my favorite non-brand name alcohol, and when I say non-brand name, that means it's less than thirty dollars for a fifth. It's less than it's less than twenty dollars for a pint. I would say go with Bacardi Gold Rum, and mix that bitch with some apple juice. Uh, that's in Chicago. That shit's fourteen dollars a fifth, and they charge eight dollars for the pint. Uh, down here that shit's ten dollars a pint, and it's about sixteen dollars a fifth because it's no diversity out here, and white people just drink what white people drink, and niggas drink what niggas drink, and there's no Mexicans, Puerto. There's Mexicans, but. You know, there's nothing. There's no Puerto Ricans and Irish people. All my family's fucking Irish, Spanish, and black. So, all the Irish type people in my family they drink rum and bourbon. All the niggas in my family they drink yak and vodka, and I mean the Spanish. Everybody's mixed Spanish and Irish. But all the older people in my family drink rum and bourbon, and all the younger people in my family drink vodka and yak. So, if you want to get... Okay, let, what else? Mm, Miller High Life, of course. The champagne of beers. That's just not going to get you fucked up. Unless you drink, like, eight. Um, Genesee. You get a fucking... Uh, how, I became, how I got into the swing of alcoholism after the influence of my grandmother was abolished. I was drinking a tall can of 211... I mean, I'm talking to 11. Well, they have like the the eight, uh, the 12 ounce, 211 cans. I would be, t I would drink a 40 of Budweiser, and a tall can of two, uh, 211. And then my other niggas, they would drink a 40 of Cobras, and then a tall can of like Miller High Life or some Bud. But I stray, I stray away from the cheap shit. Not because I'm a sadiddy nigga or not because I'm bougie or anything like that. But because mm -hmm. that cheap shit fucks your body up. The cheap shit fucking gives you a hangover. It makes you... Malt liquor, I can see. Niggas, niggas, black people don't drink malt liquor, bro. Except for Four Local and except for the, um, the fucking Colt 45 Snoops. The, the Snoop 45s. Because that shit does make a nigga aggressive, bro. The only times that I've gotten in fights drunk as shit was I was drinking my liquor. The only time. I hit a nigga with a car. I don't even want to talk about that. But. Wow. 
I'm t- okay. If you drink a lot, I can understand. If you drink a lot, then you know eventually it will be smarter for your pockets for you to drink cheaper. But at the same time, you know you don't want that shit to to, to take away the specialness from you. So three nineties for the price of one four loco, bro. You better chug that shit. You're not supposed to drink alcohol slow, bro. You're supposed to feel that bitch. You're not supposed to drink alcohol slow. Uh, no. Aaron Moses, my shit's powering off. I'll see you guys later. Like, share, comment, subscribe.